Well, one of my worst fears just happened. I watered a couple plants today and put them back on the shelf. Oh my god. <sighs> Anthurium. Yikes, that leaf got hurt. Florida green. This is the most important. My Brantianum. Looks like she only lost a leaf. Poor babies. And my beautiful looking glass begonia. Please be cool. Say she's good. <sighs> My burrow's tail. I'm glad I didn't take down that shelf. That would have really pissed me off. Okay, I just wanted to do a quick update on the carnage that happened today. There was a shelf right there, just like over there, there's a shelf. And I overloaded it. Um, I watered pretty much everything on there and that was really dumb. Not only did I water everything, I added this Brantianum to it which has a moss pole <laughs> and everything pretty much had a ceramic pot so I'm really lucky that the, that wasn't worse it could have taken out this whole other shelf which I keep most of my syndapsis on and I think this lamp saved it I think it fell onto the lamp the lamp looks like a little crushed and then it bounced onto the floor so um, this is like the miracle child. <laughs> uh, the fact that my looking glass begonia didn't snap is like incredible. This thing is like two and a half feet tall. Really beautiful. Um, I'm, <laughs> I'm trying to show you, but it just doesn't, it doesn't do it justice how big it is. Like, it's, um, I'm really lucky that that didn't snap. Um, all that happened to that was one leaf came off, so I'm propagating it because these are awesome plants. My Brantianum was fine. It just had one uh, snap on a stem, and I just cut it and propagated that. The Florida green had the worst got a bad cut oh it looks like a petiole snapped here too and that leaf got cut so ooh, the stems are sticky <sighs> bummer dude good thing these are fast growers and there was a baby leaf on that too that snapped in half so sorry I'm sorry sad Sticky. Um, my adrenam fell also, but it's a champ. It's totally fine. Look at the new leaf. You know, anthuriums. I don't care if it's a basic. Oh my god, my finger is in the way. I don't care if it's a basic anthurium. The leaves are gorgeous. Imagine if, like, some of our velvet anthuriums had inflorescences like this. Like, Anyway, and the last plant, <laughs> hold on a second, look at this. What are you chewing on? Yeah. 
he was looking really cute. You know, like that. <laughs> um, this burrow's tail fell face planted and then it lost a few of these really long branches which is sad but I needed to repot it anyway so I cut them up and um, I'll let them callus over and then I, I'll replant them there anyway and make it a fuller little plant. So I learned my lesson. I need to stop doing ceramic planters on the top and obviously not water everything all at once. It was like a perfect storm. Look at this leaf. So I'm also pretty bummed. Like I, I broke a white Costa pot like that. Um, a planter just like this. That was from Dollar General. And the biggest bummer is I broke one of these pots, which are like my favorite. I've been scouring the Dollar Generals all around my area to try and find these. <laughs> and um, I could only find four. They were five bucks. And I just love them. But anyway, Ryan's going to glue it together. It should be fine. So yeah, that's my little devastation right before we leave for Thanksgiving. But overall, it could have been worse. I actually even found one little mealybug on um, my burrow's tail. So I got to take care of that. I mean, it has systemic in it, so I'm not worried. But overall, things could have been way worse and... Um, these, ooh, it looks like that chopped something. Oh yeah, I got my Cebu Blue. I'm sorry, baby. Sorry. Um, so very thankful that that wasn't worse. It did fall on my Tenanthe, uh, what do you call it? Luberciana. But this is like a weed anyway. It just grows like nuts. So I'm not attached or bummed out too bad about that. So, so thanks for watching and I hope you have a great Thanksgiving. We'll see you next time. Happy planting.